That was more than I expected. That? <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, this is part two of the same video you guys saw with the suspension stuff. The car is going on the dyno just with an X pipe as is factory tuning the car. Then we're gonna make like two pulls, two or three pulls, see what the car makes, cool down, throw the JLT intake on it, throw a hot 93 tune in it, and see the power difference. Right now we're getting the car strapped down, making sure everything is 100% before we make a few pulls. So my car is a 10 speed car, if anyone's new here. It does have 355 gears in it. And so the gear we're gonna use today to do the pull will be six gear. That's what they recommend to do. So we're gonna find out and see what she does. So everything's hooked up, ready to go. Adam's going to explain, this is the owner of Revolution. He's going to explain how he tunes the S550s, especially on the new ones with the 10 speed. Hey guys, so A10 car, 2020. Uh, we're gonna do all of our pulls in six gear. Uh, the reason for that is that this is a 355 gear car and it's been our experience that running them at six instead of seven, which we know is the one to one ratio. Uh, once the wheel speed gets over 150 miles an hour, because it's like the law of diminishing returns. The higher the wheel speed, the less horsepower it'll show. Now, it will show a higher torque number if we did seven, but we're trying to look for a nice average. So we'll be doing all of our pulls in six gear. We're gonna start off, get the car warmed up, hop out, set the straps, make sure everything's good, make sure everything's up to temperature. We'll do a few good pulls uh, with the stock calibration in it. Then we'll move on to tuning and then we'll uh, finish with the JLT intake today. You heard it from Adam. Gonna do stock, let it warm up and see what numbers we can get out of it. Then from there, we're gonna throw the JLT and crank it up on 93 and see what we can get out of the car. If you have any guesses, drop them in the comments right now. Take a guess. I'm guessing like 418 to 420, bone stock as is, but we will see. What are you guessing? Maybe 415. That's get it. Get that thing out of my face. So <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get the car warmed up to perfect temperature, what we need to start making pulls, make sure the trans is warm, make sure the motor is warm, see what this baby little 302 is going to make, guys. I don't know if, it, if you guys could tell the difference over the camera. The fact that we 50 oil definitely sounds like it quiets down the motor in like chatter noise wise, because before with the 5W20, it sounded a whole lot more metal noise, and I don't know why, maybe just because of thicker like thickness of the oil but yeah this one sounds way better just makes the engine like have that nice like quiet idling tone first pull 424 and 386 that's not bad huh that was more than I expected. Four, almost 425. That? <laughs> almost made 425 to the rear wheels, which is really good. That was five, almost five more than I expected, so happy with that. Second run, 426 and 384 tour. Picked up more? Yeah, picked up more horsepower. The power curve was really good too. It ramped up pretty nice. So that one was 425.49 and 384.71. Pretty consistently close. Yeah. yeah. That's what we want. We don't want some crazy number on one, so. Yeah. Right around the same. That's good for stock. Hey, Bone the stock. Hey, and the vet was rated for 495. This is rated for 465, I think. So yeah, close. You guys saw the numbers. The best it did was 426 horsepower, and where is it? 386. But those were on two different runs. But that was the best torque: 386 and 426 horsepower. And yes, guys, these are SAE numbers. So this is guaranteed 100% legit. No number inflation. This is straight up a bone stock car, pretty much, with an X pipe. No tune. No nothing. It's, we're gonna throw the JLT intake on right now and then throw a 93 pump gas tune in it and see the difference. And we're gonna show you guys right here exactly what Adam at Revolution can get out of this car. So the car's getting reprogrammed right now. Adam's about to start it up with the 93 tune in it. Gonna do probably like two or three more pulls, see what we can get out of it. We're gonna install the JLT intake and probably do a few more pulls after that. Get a few good numbers out of it. And I'm gonna keep it like this for a, a little bit until all the other parts come in, like my drive shaft and one other thing I was missing. Oh yeah, probably different my wheels and stuff and the headers obviously too. 
then we're going to try to go for the 500 number. That is the goal, guys, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to hit it. Eventually, coming soon. <laughs> He made a few more adjustments. We're just gonna see what the car does. He's slowly going with it just to see what the car likes because it made good power stock. So we're trying to figure out this car how it is. Four twenty two on that one and three eighty torque. Getting there. Cranking it back up now. Working with the heat soaking prom because the car made good numbers as it was, bone stock, fresh startup, and it put down a great number the first three times. Now, when you re-upload, he upload his tune, car was hot, now you gotta make some tweaks, adjust here and there. So the first time, first couple pulls, the numbers will be down, then he'll get it progressing and get it right where it needs to be. So we're gonna do one more revision tune just to fine tune it 100%, and then we're gonna throw the JLT intake one real quick, and maybe do another few pulls after just to see what it can do, if the JLT intake actually picks up anything, so we will see. How much uh, timing was that from stock? So on the top, on the stock tune, I was seeing uh, 22 degrees on the top there, 25.75. 25.75? Yeah, so like three degrees more. It's just interesting because the power's not showing as much. That's weird, guys. So he added three degrees of timing, and usually it would immediately show power, but you guys know, of course, it's my car that doesn't really make a difference. So three degrees more timing and made the same exact power as before. 425 61 and then 382 and I don't know why my car is just everything mine that I own has to be difficult I swear Twenty-five ninety-one and 384.53 torque. Torque definitely went up on that one. Horsepower went up a smidge. The curve is still really good though. All right, so this is the new JLT intake. About to install in the car. Got the new filter. This is the one I decided to go with because I just figured it was the best one. And it matches the catch can, so I was like, why not? Plus they have lifetime warranty. Can't beat that. Just set the, uh, the JLT intake box in right there. Had to make sure all the wires come out for the um, airflow sensor right there and it's disconnected so once it, the other box gets one like the snout we'll just have to hook it back up same as pretty much other ones pretty simple got the jlt installed wasn't too hard you got i'm sure you guys can figure it out just two clamps there clamp there and make sure you plug this in there's a hose right there and another one at the bottom so it's kind of simple the only thing we didn't do is take off the sound tube and reason for that is because when we do the headers it's right there so when we have it on the lift we can just get to it then so for the meantime we're just going to leave that there even though it is ugly but we're about to do another pull in the dyno see how much it picks up hopefully to pick up maybe like 15 horsepower more but we're going to see versus previous of 425 and the torque was 382 a little down on torque but the horsepower definitely went up all right guys 434 that time and the torque was 394 that was a good pull definitely went up more on that one so this is straight up the blue line is the first pull we did and that was the best number we got out as is stock no tune no intake just with an x pipe on 93 pump gas it made 425 49 
and horsepower wise with tune and intake it made 434.16 and torque blue is the first one red is always the last one so as you can see 384.71 and 394.79 this is pretty much average what the normal coyote does make to the rear wheels just as is intake tune x pipe 93 pump gas we're going to do an e85 video coming up as the car sits tune intake e85 and see how much we can pick up just with the e85 so i'm guessing maybe like another 15 20 roughly because my old coyote i remember it did pick up a little bit but it's hard to remember plus the gen 3s do have more compression so i feel like it would help it a lot more everything's pretty much 100 percent right now tune looks perfect all the peak numbers are great the ramping is great but let's get it we're gonna see last pool So right there made 436 horsepower and 395 torque so went up a little more right there too and that's the third pool with the car running so it did get a little hotter so here's one final look at the graph so as you can see we did pick up power all the way through and mainly towards the high rpms just because it's a coyote and that's what they do but as you can see on the torque it did pick up a good bit and at the top it did sort of want to ramp off it did good the stock stock numbers it did put down was 425 and i was really impressed with that because i was saying around 420 some people were saying 415 and i was like i don't know i feel like my car runs good so we'll see but it did pick up good numbers i'm happy with it and i can't wait to see what um 85 does adam was just telling me it might pick up another 20 horsepower so we'll be at 466 i mean 456 can't even do math right now i've been here all day so we have 456 um to the rear wheels is what we're hoping for but only one way to find out guys that is going to wrap up today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed that little comparison of stock versus intake in tune i appreciate all the guys at revolution they're awesome you guys did a great job phenomenal work on the car matt dylan mike adam thank you guys again sincerely please drop a like on this video and subscribe we're going to be doing an 85 video coming up soon so stay tuned it's going to be awesome plus we got the cobra jet and some other good um good parts coming in so better stay tuned. Other than that, guys, I'm out. Peace.